Well, hello everyone. Today is Sunday, January 26th, day after I had a Powerwall 1 failure. Today we are going to be discussing the uh, my BMS balancer solution. All right, the BMS is here on the right. It is a volt cell, 128 amp BMS. There's no monitoring on it. There is no. Um, there's no balancer on it. All it does is make sure you can take out 120 amps, put in through it 120 amps towards charging, and monitor cells. It will stop charging if the voltage of the cell goes above 3.9, and it will stop discharging if the voltage of the cell or the module in my case goes below two volts now a couple of things this thing worked flawlessly yesterday when the uh, when my power wall one failed let's go in a little bit of a detail about that forgot to mention in the video Last video yesterday, I had a last update before we went on lunch, was at, at 11.30 a.m. We came back at 1.30. Somewhere between 12 and 1.30, Powerwall 1 failed. BMS, as I said, performed flawlessly. And uh, Powerwall 1 was off when we came back home. Um, I stopped the whole thing for the Powerwall 1. I continue draw or a test of a power wall number two, the BMS did its job. Uh, it worked great. I have a video on it. It's from Volt Cell, 120 amp, 16S, BMS, got it off of Alibaba.com, and the price of it was $89.60. Now, on your left, you see a one amp balancer with a, a, a two to 24 S um, capability of balancing uh, one amp balancer up to 24 cells or modules in my case. Now, when it comes to these things, um, I cannot say that I'm real happy with it and I will explain why. So I purchased this balancer off of this IC Go 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 store on AliExpress. It costs $80.56 plus a little bit of a shipping. And um, no, it was a free shipping. Yeah, it was a free shipping. Anyway, it took a month for it to come here. Now, I got it. I connected everything. Wiring took, you know, some time to get connected on to the power wall and the thing worked for five hours and it died i had funny messages as you, as you can see on the screen um different cell res cell resistance every time and it was saying that they were out of space out of specs uh and whatnot so it stopped working however it did intrigue me enough to go on Alibaba.com and look for this same balancer. Here it is $78. I do not know, or we may never know, who is making these balancers. It might be this uh, uh, Chengdu Health Tech Automation Technology Company. They might be making them. It might be that I see go 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 store. I don't know. They are identical to each other. However, there are very big differences. I opened up a one that doesn't work, and I opened up a one that I got from Alibaba.com. Differences are startling. Let's look at that. Here's the balancer itself. It looks same as that on the pictures over there from Alibaba or AliExpress. Now, the differences are very big. Uh, as you can see right here, 
this is concerning right here. Seems like, like somebody was scratching off the numbers off of these uh, um, integrated circuits. I don't know what they do, whatever. These are probably MOSFETs over here and whatnot. However, when we go to the other side, these are actually, somebody was grinding in them. I do not know why. This balancer, again, is from IC Go 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 store on AliExpress. I really don't know why would anybody do this. I had a new one open up and it doesn't look anything like this. I don't know why would anybody do anything like it. So, I was intrigued enough and then I, as I say, I ordered two more from Alibaba.com. Uh, this is the reason why I cannot recommend going to AliExpress and getting these components from them. If you want to get this little unit, get it somewhere else. It was also packaged differently. Uh, it did not have manual. AliExpress unit did not have manual come in it, come with it. I had to ask for the app to download it while one from Alibaba.com came with the manual, came with the QR code where to download an app. Uh, and it looked a little bit better packaged than the unit from AliExpress. Maybe I got the one that somebody returned or whatnot, but we'll go into details on that too. Just a second. On the left side is of course is of course a penny. Next to that penny, just as a reference, penny is used as a reference size, are two components that were most most abused on this board. Um, after talking to IC Go 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 store, they said they were gonna send me the part to replace it. Here's the thing. I did respond to them and ask what kind of part. How big is it? Please show me what needs to be replaced. This is what they pointed out to that need to be replaced. I asked for the name of it. They gave me a name of it. They said, okay, I said, thank you. And then they said, going to ship me the parts. I'm still waiting for the parts. No problem. That's not a big deal. I went on a digi key and I ordered these two because these are totally abused. I wish the com camera can show it, especially this one right here uh, this one right here seems like somebody put the iron on it trying to uh, uh, heat it up enough where it would be soldered back to the board this one is a little bit less however still bad I don't know you know it might be that I just received a messed up balancer that somebody returned, they fixed it, and they sell it back new again. You know, those are the things we cannot control, especially when we go shopping for stuff in China. You know, there's there's no complaining. You, even the part that they send me, whatever that might be, it might not be, be even these parts, I will try to repair it. But the point is, be careful while shopping on AliExpress. Um, I don't know anything about this store. It says over here that they will have a really good feedback. I don't care. This is what I see. I replace these parts. Um, obviously, they did not fix it. I'm waiting to see is this the parts they are going to send me. Also, um, I don't know why would they be, um, you know, why would the parts be grinded and why would they be uh, destroy like this I just don't know however getting the new ones from Alibaba.com and opening them up they look so much better than the one I got from Aliexpress maybe I was just screwed whatever anyway now on to how does this thing actually performs so the things that can be set up in your Bluetooth app as far as the settings go will be a cell count from 2 to 24 is what you can set up and it will balance 
uh, recognize cell voltage. I left it where it is because I really don't know what does it mean. I really do not have a clue. I was able to figure out everything else. But a recognized cell voltage, it's the highest value is 1. That's it. Trigger differential voltage, um, you can go down as low as 0 0.002, meaning 2 millivolts. And at 2 millivolts, it will trigger uh, balancing. Maximum balance current, I have it down at 0.3 amps or 300 milliamps. It will go up to the 1. Next setting is power off voltage. I put it on at 2.5 volts per cell. I am not going to go below that. There's no reason to. Um, even though it can go down to 2 volts, and 2 volts is a default settings. And a voltage calibration at 56.69 volts for my whole pack. That divides it into 3.544 volts per module. Those are the settings. Control doesn't do anything. Device doesn't have it. Uh, and on the status screen, you can turn on balancing and turn it off and see your module or cells voltages. That's all there is to it. Uh, the two new ones that I have are working great. They've been used yesterday on that power wall load and capacity test that failed. I will include some pictures of the power wall being built, rebuilt and cells replaced currently charging the two good cells that I took out from Powerwall. Third one is on the table. I'm going to double check it one more time, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. These are now taking forever to charge since they went down to two volts. Um, here's the second one. That one is coming up next. The power wall is rebuilt. I move the cells down. So I move the cells from here. These are this was a fending module right here. Uh, I lowered these two modules down and I'm gonna and I'm going to use these two good cells. I'm gonna put them all the way up on top so I don't have to disassemble that much anymore if I have to replace these cells. I don't know did a lot of damage occur to them. However, they'll be on top and easily replaced. Well, power wall number one is back in a commission. It's being charged right now. Let's see how the cells look like at this moment. Here's a power wall one. The uh, balancer is connected to this little tablet over here. It's being charged. It's not balancing at the moment. Uh, cell differential is at 13 millivolts or 0 0.013 volts. So far, so good. I hope everything works out fine. Uh, it will take another 2 hours and 45 minutes to be fully charged. I'm happy that I'm that I finished it. Uh, the, rep the repair itself took about two, two hours and 20 minutes to complete. I took my time. Um, I hope I don't have any more problems. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, here, it is, here it is. I'm going to keep using this little tablet too. Keep an eye on the power walls. Power wall number two is turned off. It's balancing at 300 milliamps or 0.3 amps. I keep it at that low of a balancing current. I don't think it's more is necessary.
here is BMS doing its job. Cell number four will go over 3.9 soon and they disconnect. As soon as it goes down below, let's see which value. 3.75, it starts charging again. There you go. It stops it cold. It's going to go down. Now it's going to start charging again. Perfect example of what BMS should do. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this power wall from charging. Turn on the balancer. That is a module number four. It has one cell in it that it was fairly well charged, but I had to balance it somehow. We'll see how this works. going to change the settings and I'm going to change it into full amp so we can do this as fast as we can charging in one amp go back into the balancer <clears throat> Turn on balance. Sorry for camera being shaky, but I wanted to catch this in the action and show it as best as I can. Talk to you soon. I'm letting it balance right now. You can see it in action. Balance current up on top. Trying to hurry up and get it done as soon as possible. That's why I'm using a one amp balancing feature right now. But once they all equalize, since cell voltage differential right now is a 0.134 volts. I'm going to turn on charging on the power wall number one again. 